Howdy folks, this is the Dynam 1270mm wingspan Tiger Moth from Banggood.com. Thanks Banggood for sending this for the review. I'm a big, big fan of Tiger Moths. Um, the first scale model I ever made was a Tiger Moth um, and for my 40th birthday my wife bought us both uh, joy flights in matching Tiger Moths. Uh, and I enjoyed that experience so much I have always been a big fan. So let's have a look at what's inside. Here are all the bits and pieces and it's a monster, barely fits on my table. The wings are all uh, one unit which is nice with built-in dihedral. They're reasonably flexible at this stage but we have all the uh, bracing wires that apparently stiffen up the structure quite a lot. Here are all the struts, a couple of uh, 12 by 6 inch props, horizontal and vertical stabiliser, tail wheel, screwdriver and hex wrench, glue, uh, prop spinner, there's the fuselage and we have some nice little decals for the fuselage detail good set of decals. Here's the landing gear which looks fantastic. A little bit of flex in it as well uh, and the usual sparse but adequate Dynam uh, assembly instructions. Time to start building and I have to say I love these control horns from Dynam. I wish all control horns were like this. Nice wide base and nice solid structure. Other manufacturers take note. Make them like this. Okay let's have a look inside and uh, the power connection is uh, a Dean's plug so I'll need to change that out to a XT60. Simple matter to remove the cowl, a few screws and uh, we're going to have a look at the motor now and it's a nice slow spinning 650 big powerful motor. Should work well. And inside we have a couple of uh, plastic gear 9 gram servos, they'll be fine for rudder and elevator. A few hot glue strands there. I can pull the ESC out and have a look, and that's a Detrim 40 amp ESC. This is a 4S plane, so hopefully that will be enough. We'll check that out later on. And on the other end, on the servo wire end of the ESC, we have this little Dynam signal booster, I think it is. It seems to work fine with or without it, so I might just leave it in there. First off, with foamy models these days, I immediately strengthen the hinges with a thin smear of hot glue, whether they need it or not, because they will eventually need it. And it's better to do it before these are broken, rather than try and save it later on. You get a much, much smoother result. So you just wipe off as much hot, hot glue as possible. Same with the uh, ailerons as well. Now I'm changing the Dean's plug to an XT60. Quick solder job. and a little bit of heat shrink, a little bit more heat shrink, job done. Connecting up the ESC to the motor, I don't know about you but I always connect that the wrong way for some reason. It doesn't add up. Slotting in the landing gear which just fits into that slot there and there's a couple of struts that are screwed and bolted into place. really sturdy looking landing gear with some um, compression as well which is really nice. Now I'm adding some uh, safety bands to the clevis connectors on the push rods. They weren't provided um, so they've become standard kit for me now. A little bit of um, fuel line, just cut off a little band and pop it on all the clevis connectors. Now fitting the wing and we have a couple of screws, 20mm and 25mm screws to hold them into the fuselage. This is the bottom wing. Simple job. And the cabane struts I think these are called to hold the top wing. More screws. And the top wing goes on top and you can do up the front connections at this stage and the back connection has to have added uh, these uh, bracing wires which are quite a fiddly fit uh, but they're all numbered 
and you just follow the numbering sequence make sure you're using the correct screws and bolts to connect them and just work away and you'll get it done now they are rather tight um, so you can twang the wires when they're all done up but it uh, makes for a really nice stiff structure now control horns to the rudder and uh, elevator lovely control horns please please someone make these available I want them now fitting the horizontal stabiliser on and the rudder on top of that all just slots together and then held in with a couple of screws from underneath and these are the struts to hold the uh, horizontal stabiliser just needed to tweak the angle so that it fitted nicely more screws now I'm just getting the uh, elevator push rod to the right length connecting it all up putting the safety band on mounting the uh, nice big prop just a nut to hold that on it does feel a little bit out of balance at the moment I'll have to go back and properly balance that prop and and motor to keep it nice and smooth single bolt to hold the uh, nose spinner on now we can connect it up and do a current draw test make sure all the surfaces are going in the right direction and it feels like it's going to be very powerful have heaps of thrust so the current draw got up to uh, 32 amps roughly so the 40 amp ESC will be fine my 4S3000 battery wouldn't fit in vertically or horizontally or it fits in vertically but the, you can't get the canopy on so I had to gouge out a bit of foam to get it to fit in um, horizontally and then it all fits nicely 3000 4S battery this one now I thought the landing gear is too far back for this scale model and landing on grass so I'm going to do a bit of a mod to the landing gear I've heard that other people have done it as well uh, we have rough grass and soggy grass to land on so it's just not going to work with uh, the wheels in the scale position so it's just a quick matter of bending the landing gear forward a little bit So that brings the wheels further forward of the CG and then I just have to adjust those struts uh, to fit. So I'm just marking where that screw hole is, hammer it flat around that screw hole and then just cut off the excess. Pretty simple job. Just need to drill another hole as well. But it's very soft aluminium so not difficult at all filing off the sharp edges so I've gone from about 130 millimeter total length to about 110 112 something like that and that fits back in nicely just make sure the two struts are exactly the same length and the then the landing gear will be nicely aligned that's looking good happy with that it's not going to tip over anywhere near as easily so now I've got to go over and I left those tags on to remind myself to, to uh, do up all those little nuts nice and tight and maybe add some lock lock tight as well. Now time for the stickers. Great set of stickers. I love these roundels. They look great against the yellow uh, paint scheme. And something I've started doing uh, recently, seeing I've been building a few pre-painted warbirds is to is to go over with a, a spray of um, semi-gloss clear enamel just to try and protect the uh, decals and the paint scheme makes a nice sort of semi shiny appearance and there it is all ready to fly great looking model I'm really going to enjoy this one so check out the Banggood purchase link and thanks for watching